How's it going everybody? Driver53 here, and I've got a question for you. Is bailing at 10 or 11 miles an hour too slow? Well, I've got something that's gonna let you do it about 20 or 25. The first mod you're gonna need here is the Goldhofer STZ VP3. This was available in Farming Simulator 19, and it has made its way back to Farming Simulator 22. You're also gonna need a truck, your choice, whichever one you want. I've got a really high powered Phoenix right here by 82 squared studios. First thing, we are going to go ahead and turn this truck on. I've got the help menu turned on here. And as you can see, the trailer has two different segments to it. I'm on the first one right now, which is the top compartment. I want to be on the back section for this next thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down my L1 button and I'm going to move right on my joystick. And as you can see, that's going to extend this trailer out as far as it will go. Once I've got it extended all the way back, what I need to do is disconnect here. So I'm gonna go and hit X and I'm gonna go ahead and start moving forward because let me show you this. If I'm sitting here and I just disconnect it, I can't go anywhere. It raises it up. So you have to make sure that you're disconnecting it while you're moving forward and then you're just gonna get it out of the way. And why are we getting it out of the way? Well, we need to load something on top of that trailer now. And what is that something? Well, it's none other than the Kloss and Corona Baylor pack with the Lizard R90. As you can see right here, we're using the 1290 HP DVC, and it has this rake attached to it. This is available on the Monhub for all platforms. I've also got a tractor right here, and I'm going to use narrow tires on it, and you're going to see why here in just a minute. Now that I've got my tractor started, what I need to do is back up onto this low loader. Now, I want to make sure that this is pretty, pretty square because the tires on the tractor here... As you can see now, I wanna keep those inside that area. I also wanna make sure that this is all the way back, just like that right there. Awesome, so now I've got this thing loaded up. What I need to do is go ahead and unfold my baler here, and I'm gonna go ahead and lower it down also. Now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and attach the front part of the load loader back to the rear section right here. Boom, there we go. Now that we've got that attached, what I'm gonna do is go ahead and pull this forward right there, and I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on as well. Now I'm gonna get back in my truck right here, and I'm just barely going to bring this forward just until it barely touches. And what I'm trying to do here is just keep the tractor and the baler sandwiched in between the two parts of the trailer so that it doesn't move around very much. Now that I've got my baler going, Check this. Now, as I start moving, you can actually see down at the bottom of the screen there that I'm seeing how much of uh, straw I have here in my baler. We're going to go ahead and pick up this little bit right here. I'm going to make a turn, but I'm going to do it real gently. All right, here we are going 25 miles an hour. It's going to raise up. It's going to go crazy, but it's perfectly fine. Now, we are still going about 20 miles an hour. It is going to stack up a little bit in the bottom there. I know it looks weird, but man, this is working. We're going twi twice as fast as we were before. And yes, it did get knocked off a little bit here to the edge, but it was still working perfectly fine. So um, I think right around that 20 mile an hour range is what's going to be safe. If you don't have quite as big of windrows as I have here, then you should be able to go maybe a little bit faster up to about 25. But everybody, that's going to be it for today. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you would. If you want to stay up to date on all my tips and tricks videos here for Farming Simulator 22, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell too. And while you're waiting on those future videos, go ahead and check out one of these other two right here. Have a great day, night, evening, everybody. Until next time, this is Driver53 signing off.